Hey Sag, welcome to your monthly reading for June 2023. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages here for you guys. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So we have Chiron here. We also have Taurus. So Chiron talks about healing, uh, growth, um, releasing certain things. Chiron is like our wounded warrior, and it's usually in our chart an area that we're needing to heal from. But then once we kind of heal from it, we can actually help a lot of other people with that. Some of you might have your Chiron in Taurus. Um, but let's see. Some of you could be healing something to do with like your self-image. We also have will here, expression, assertiveness, and uh, self-control and direction here. We also have solar plexus chakra uh, number 15. So yeah, definitely could be something like with, to do with like, your confidence, um, how you express yourself, not being afraid to express yourself so, with something here. Um, let's see. Sagittarius for June. We have it is what it is and we have birds of a feather. And then we have divine matrix number 44. All right. Um, yeah, I almost feel like you're accepting a situation. Um, possibly accepting other people or accepting people for who they are or what they are like and just accepting that and either like um, not letting it get to you and also like if they're just not for you, they're just not for you and kind of just like moving on. Like realizing, I don't know, there's something about acceptance here. But I do feel like you're coming into your own sense of power like some of you just might be feeling like a lot more confident um like during these times during june you might be getting more vocal around something as well possibly with people around you with birds of a feather um and also it's just like not taking on other people's shit is kind of also what i'm getting Let's see, let's see. <laughs> we are gonna look at the tarot here. For you, Sag, what's going on for Sag in June 2023? We have the Wheel of Fortune, your energy. We have the um, Page of Wands, I believe. Yeah, that is the Page of Wands. Uh, Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Knight of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. We have the Page of Cups. Some of you could have, like, love coming in. New person, maybe, for some of you. We also have the Page of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So you're questioning maybe moving in a certain direction or you need more information or you're just not sure possibly. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. Um, I do feel like there's kind of this shift, this change, especially starting out with the Wheel of Fortune. Like, I mean, you could be moving in a new direction in some capacity here in your life. It's almost like you're maybe questioning, especially too with this Page of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in this diagonal. like is what I'm investing in going to give me the results that I'm looking for? If there's, if it's like a love thing, it's like, you know, is this person, I feel like there is someone who's serious, but you're maybe questioning whether you want to even be in a relationship for some of you. Like some of you could definitely be like dating people here. Let's see though. I feel like I need a lot more information here there's definitely i feel like somebody though who wants to like invest into you or wants to put energy into this situation if it if there's love in your life if it's not love again it's just like do i want to invest into this thing that i feel passionate about or connected to from like the heart 
it's like money, but also like, do I enjoy what I do type of thing? I feel like I'm not making any freaking sense today, but anyway. What's this Wheel of Fortune here for Saj? What's this Wheel of Fortune? I mean, the Wheel of Fortune being the only major here makes me think that this is like a big shift, a big change. And we have the Emperor. So yeah, this is like you taking control, doing the right thing. Some of you definitely, it could be a partnership here, like a divine counterpart. Uh, what's this page of wands? Yeah, page of swords, king of cups, four of swords. And then we have this eight of pentacles. It's like there's something you're thinking about. Do I want to move in this direction? Do I want to move in this direction? I feel like there's emotion here with this King of Cups, either you or the other person. You could also be trying to see how someone or something feels about you as well. Are they going to put in the work? Why the Seven of Pentacles? Why the Seven of Pentacles here for Saj? Yeah, Eight of Wands, where are things going to go here? Seven of Pentacles again. So like kind of almost like waiting to see where things go. It kind of feels like a person. Um, clarify this Knight of Cups. Clarify this Knight of Cups here for Saj. And there's like, yeah, there's definitely this divine energy, divine matrix, the, the Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Cups, please. Yeah, Page of Wands. A lot of repeating energies here. Seven of Swords. You could be kind of like holding yourself back or kind of being a little bit more reserved. Kind of like questioning things. Why does Ten of Pentacles? It's like you're questioning intention or like, will this yield the results? Nine of Swords. Yeah, stressed about could be a few different things especially with this uh two of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck like how am i gonna how am i gonna manage all of this or uh looking at your resources trying to balance things out wanting stability here why this page of cups seven of wands strength i just feel like you're holding back like you're kind of almost like waiting to see how something turns out clarify this page of swords Three of Pentacles, yeah, like, are we going to be able to get this to work, work together? Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, four, what's this, Four of Cups, Justice, give me one more with this Four of Cups here. Six of Cups. What's this nine of, oh wow, okay, nine of pentacles here. Nine of pentacles, we have the six of pentacles, we also have this queen of swords. It's like you're wanting to like see effort or you're wanting to see proof or the, the, the full offer. Like you're wanting someone or something to put in the effort here, ten of wands, like put someone to put in the work. I just feel like you're waiting to see how things go or you're waiting to see how things connect um like if this is a love situation this is like you waiting to see more about this person you're wanting things to feel good you're wanting the the right type of connection or the right type of situation i feel like you've probably done a lot of healing possibly around um receiving the right type of love or just receiving love in general especially with that taurus energy um i do feel like there's like someone like with this emperor here like there is this like strong energy showing up for you but it's like it's in the beginning stages and i just almost feel like you're like i need to see proof i need to see where this is actually going to go before i really dive into this like you're kind of being a, a bit reserved here in your energy which there's nothing wrong with that i feel like you're just kind of like seeing seeing where something's going to take you here and just kind of like accepting it for however it shows up i also feel like this could be maybe someone in your social circle or maybe it's a friend or something 
Like you're just waiting to see the truth behind a situation almost. What is the advice here for Sagittarius in this situation for June? We have the Chariot. I'll show you them. They're just kind of at the bottom here. We have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Nine of Cups, Three of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So Chariot, uh, Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups is your advice. I almost feel like this is asking you to, like, what is it that you want? Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups, like, what's your dream? What's your wish fulfillment? And, like, not being afraid to go after that. Um, pursue the thing that fulfills you. Pursue the dream is kind of what I'm getting. So I think this is also you, like, needing to figure out how you feel in this situation and where your heart is at and what you desire to have in your life. Um, what's, what's, what is it that you're like looking for so that you know how to take action or, or when to take action in certain situations here? I do feel like though you've been burned in the past, three of cups, we also have this five of cups with a magician. Like some of you have maybe been really like manipulated in past situations by people who just kind of like confuse you, maybe only want like one thing, right? With this ace of wands, um, so like definitely if you've gone through challenging rom um, like romantic situations in the past and this is about a love situation, it's like even if you've just been burned in the past, it's like you've learned a lot from those things. You're not wanting to repeat that. And so I think this is about you getting clear on what it is that you want. And once you know what you want, knowing and trusting and having that uh, strength and just like that um, confidence to like know that you'll, you won't make that same mistake again, like that you can see things for what they really are. Interesting reading for you, Saj. But that is pretty much what I got for you. So hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.